Former chairman Vince McMahon gave the final go-ahead for virtually everything on WWE television for the past few decades. Fans wouldn't know that now, considering how much he has been pushed away following the controversy, but a Hall of Famer said that it was McMahon who informed him that he would be joining a legendary faction with The Rock. The legend and Hall of Famer is none other than Mark Henry. On Busted Open Radio on May 27, he revealed that his deal with AEW was expiring the next day and that he wouldn't be renewing it. In an exclusive interview with Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful, interview currently on Fightful Select, Mark Henry discussed his run with the Nation of Domination, a faction that truly gave The Rock his breakthrough moment in 1997. Mark Henry revealed that Vince McMahon was the first person to inform him that he was joining the faction, and Ron Simmons and The Rock informed him after that. Henry was actually under the impression that it would be a one-off appearance. Vince McMahon is reportedly no longer allowed in the WWE HQ. As mentioned above, considering how the last two years have played out, it's almost hard to believe that McMahon had a legacy of four decades as the most important man in the business. Now, following all the controversy in the Janelle Grant lawsuit, WWE under TKO seems to want nothing to do with him. Speaking to Conrad Thompson on the Insider's podcast, former WWE employee Tommy Carlucci revealed that Vince McMahon isn't even allowed in the WWE headquarters, including the gym that was specifically designed for him. He, Vince McMahon, can't even walk in the building. That's crazy that you drive by that building, and, you got that big championship belt. He always wanted us from day one because we were in two different buildings. We had the corporate office on exit 9, and then we were right down the street from the corporate office. Our big production studio. He always wanted us under one roof. That was his dream, to have us under one roof. The dream came, and he's not even a part of it anymore, he said. Tommy Carlucci seemed more shocked at the fact that the headquarters being under one roof was McMahon's idea, and he was shocked to see the way his legacy has been treated and brushed to the side by TKO. Title, The McMahon Revelation, Joining Forces with Legends In the annals of wrestling history, few names resonate as loudly as Vince McMahon's. As the mastermind behind the WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment, McMahon's story is one of ambition, innovation, and occasionally, controversy. But hidden within the tales of his empire lies a moment of pure creativity, when McMahon orchestrated a twist that left even the most seasoned WWE Hall of Famer stunned. It was a balmy summer evening in Stamford, Connecticut, and the WWE headquarters buzzed with energy. Vince McMahon sat behind his desk, surrounded by the trappings of power. Papers littered the surface, but his focus was elsewhere. Today, he had a revelation, a bold stroke of creative genius that would shake the very foundation of sports entertainment. His mind raced with possibilities as he pondered the legendary faction known as The Rock. Led by the electrifying Dwayne The Rock Johnson, this group had captured the imagination of fans worldwide. But McMahon saw potential for something greater, a fusion of past and present that would redefine the landscape of professional wrestling. As the evening wore on, McMahon reached for his phone, dialing a familiar number. On the other end, a voice crackled to life, seasoned with the gravelly timbre of years spent in the ring. It was none other than Stone Cold Steve Austin, a WWE Hall of Famer and living legend in his own right. There was a pause on the line, followed by a low chuckle. I'm listening, Vince. What do you have in mind? McMahon wasted no time in laying out his vision. He spoke of alliances forged in the fires of competition, of legacies intertwined on the grandest stage of them all. And at the heart of it all was The Rock, a beacon of charisma and skill around which others could rally. You want me to join forces with The Rock? Austin's disbelief was palpable, but McMahon could hear the gears turning in his mind. Not just The Rock, McMahon replied, his voice tinged with excitement. Imagine the spectacle, Steve. The Rock, yourself, and a select few others, united under one banner. Together, you could conquer the WWE like never before. There was another pause, longer this time, as Austin weighed his options. McMahon held his breath, knowing that this moment could shape the future of the WWE for years to come. Finally, Austin spoke, his voice steady and sure. All right, Vince. I'm in. McMahon's heart soared at the affirmation, but he knew the hardest part was yet to come. 
Together, he and Austin would need to approach The Rock and his cohorts with their proposal, convincing them of the potential greatness that lay in their union. Days turned into weeks as McMahon and Austin laid the groundwork for their plan. They reached out to The Rock, pitching their vision with a fervor that bordered on obsession. And to their surprise, The Rock was receptive, intrigued by the possibility of joining forces with his former rival. With The Rock on board, McMahon and Austin turned their attention to the other members of the faction. One by one, they made their case, appealing to the shared history and mutual respect that bound them together. And one by one, they found allies in unexpected places, as legends of the past embraced the promise of a new era. Finally, the day of reckoning arrived. McMahon gathered his newfound allies in a private meeting, the tension crackling in the air like electricity. With a flourish, he unveiled his masterstroke, revealing the plans for their alliance to the world. The reaction was immediate and overwhelming. Fans rejoiced at the prospect of seeing their favorite superstars united in pursuit of glory. Critics hailed McMahon's creativity, praising him for his willingness to break the mold and defy expectations. But for McMahon, the true satisfaction came from within. As he looked out at the faces of his allies, he saw the spark of excitement in their eyes, the promise of greatness waiting to be fulfilled. And in that moment, he knew that he had done more than just shake up the world of professional wrestling, he had created a legacy that would endure for generations to come. As the curtain fell on another chapter in the saga of the WWE, Vince McMahon smiled. For in the end, it was not the victories or the accolades that mattered most, but the stories we tell and the bonds we forge along the way. And in that regard, McMahon had created something truly special, a moment of creativity that would live on in the hearts and minds of fans forever.